Welcome! This has been one of my most requested videos over the last few months. Quite a few people leave me comments and messages saying, can we see your full collection? And can we also see the cabinets that you've mentioned a couple of times that you display your pops in? So here we are. I know this collection is pretty small compared to a lot of you guys here on YouTube with your really awesome massive collections, but for me this is a lot of pops that I've got in only really a little over six months. And there is some other Funko items as well. But without further ado, this is as of this date in March 2019, my full Funko collection. So I'll start with the figures that are on the top of my right hand cabinet. Great one to start with, the vinyl two pack of Tony the Tiger and Diggum Frog. This has, as you can see, the special edition sticker on. I think originally it's a Target exclusive. Got this off eBay at a really good price. Love this, one of my favorite things. Move along to Diggum Frog. Onto Twinkie the Kid. And another ad icon, a very recent purchase, King Ding Dong from Hostess Ding Dongs, a Funko Shop limited edition. Now the reason I keep all my ad icons in box now was partly thanks to Tony and Diggum there. I really liked the vinyl box and I decided that I wouldn't take those out of the box and display them out of box like I do most of my pops. And then I got another vinyl set, which we'll get onto in a bit, and then a particular three pack, which I'll show you shortly. And I wanted to keep those in box as well. And then I thought, well, all these ad icons look pretty cool in box. Some of the ad icon pops that I've taken out of the box, I'll put those back in, get some pop protectors for them all, and sort of the top of my cabinets could just be the Ad Icons inbox showcase. Why not? As you can see, I've got pop protectors or a vinyl protector in that case for all of those. Right, let's get on to one of the actual cabinets. Here is a look at the cabinet in full. Really great cabinets, these. I'll talk a bit about them in a minute. But here's what's in this one. Here we have my Breaking Bad collection, Heisenberg, quite an expensive pop, under £40, but to me that's expensive. Jesse Pinkman, Saul Goodman, note that this is the Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad, not Jimmy McGill from the Better Call Saul range. I say range, there's only that one that's available. Hank Schrader, Gus Fring. I would have quite liked the Gus with half his face off, but I'm happy to have this one. And Mike Ehrmantraut. Oh, and there's my social media John calendar, which isn't relevant to this, but there we are. Moving down a level, we have my James Bond collection. Here is Sean Connery in his black tuxedo. That is the James Bond from Doctor No. That was an exclusive. Another exclusive is the Roger Moore James Bond in his white tux from, I think that's Octopussy. Then we have Odd Job. This is the exclusive of him about to throw his bowler hat. Here from Goldfinger, it's Jill Masterson, the Golden Girl. Then there's Jaws, who appeared in The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker. And last but by no means least, Ernst Stavros Blofeld. He's got his pussycat in his hand. Down to the next level. This is my Parks and Recreation set, and there's another one that is kind of on his own at the end, and we'll get to that. So my Parks and Recreation set so far, I am missing a couple for this. I'm missing the Tom and John Ralphio two-pack. Here we have, as played by Chris Pratt, we have Andy Dwyer. Then we have Leslie Nope. Ron Swanson. I quite like the dreadlocked Ron Swanson, but I'm happy just to get one of them. So this one is perfectly great. 
There's April Ludgate. The one and the only Lil Sebastian. And because he needs to be on the end because he's just too top heavy. He didn't come on a stand or anything. My Chase Mr. Bean. I think that is my only Chase in this cabinet. He just sort of fits on the end there on his own. Not really relevant to anyone else. And he needs to be on either the right side or the left side as he just won't stand up on his own at all. But if you wedge him right up against one of the sides then he's fine. Last shelf in this cabinet is my Modern Family collection and this is a complete collection as well. Well, complete if you don't count the fact I didn't get the Chase version of Gloria. But each six characters I've got. So here is Jay, his wife Gloria, Jay's son-in-law Phil, Jay's daughter Claire, Jay's son Mitchell, and Mitchell's husband Cam. Moving on to what's on the top of my middle cabinet. This is the second vinyl two-pack that I've got. Love this as well. This is Ace. Also got this at quite a good price off eBay. Captain Crunch and Jean Lafoot. It is a Funko Shop limited edition. And one of my bucket list pops, this. And this was kind of what tipped me over to start putting all my ad icons in box. It's the Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Snap, Crackle and Pop 3-pack. That is just fantastic. £40 I think I paid for this, which is probably about what it's worth. And I just thought this is too nice to get out the box because the box is just really nice. I think another thing about displaying ad icons in box is the actual brand logos. In a way, sometimes they're more memorable and they've got more nostalgia than the actual brand mascots, the characters. So like we've got Rice Krispies, we saw Frosties and Honey Smacks earlier. I'm a fan of a good logo, a good brand identity. So that's another reason why I think it's probably more fun to have the ad icons in box. But as you know, generally I am an out box collector. But that is an awesome three pack. So we move on to the middle cabinet. And the first two in here are a two pack, which was my first ever pops. It's Sting, or Surfer Sting as he's called, and Lex Luger. Then we're going to Nature Boy Ric Flair. If you notice, there is a paint blemish on Ric Flair. Um, I knew that there was this paint blemish when I bought this. At this point, I wasn't planning on buying too many pots. Ric Flair was quite an early purchase, and the blemish didn't bother me too much. Still doesn't. You can only really see it like, really close up like I am now. Next we have Goldberg. Continuing with the WCW theme, we have two of the three original members of the New World Order. Hollywood Hogan, he's my, still going to be my favourite pop, but I'm not just saying that because he's my most expensive one. I paid £45 for Hollywood Hogan and I just love it. I just think it's really cool. No matter what I would have paid, whether I would have paid £4 or £400, I wouldn't pay £400 for him, but... It is just, I, I love this pop. I think he's still overall my favourite. And then Scott Hall, that's the Chase Scott Hall as well in NWO attire. Going down a level, we have Roddy Piper, who I believe was a Target exclusive, vaulted now. Bret Hart, there's a new Bret Hart coming out according to the rumour mill. Here is the Chase Iron Sheet. The chase with the red headdress, of course. The common has the white headdress. The chase, Jake the Snake Roberts. The snake is a different colour. This snake is more yellowy green. And different colour tights as well. Not the most exciting chase, but it was nice to pick this one up. Here we have quite a recent purchase. I only got this the other day, a two-pack. Ted DiBiase and Erwin R. Scheister. Money Inc. Lovely. Down to the next level. Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. Great double pack that. I got that for a brilliant price thanks to Not Suitable for Mums Pop in a Box scheme. 
Then we move on to my women wrestler collection. Really enjoying getting these. I think I've got almost all the ones I want with maybe one or two exceptions. And there is one particular one I am waiting for in the post. Sasha Banks. There is Eva Marie. Alexa Bliss. Here is Ronda Rousey. Oh, just before we move on to the bottom level, I'll show you these two pops that are outside of the cabinet. Very recent purchase. In fact, these were in the video that you will have seen yesterday from the Netflix series Glow. It's Ruth Wilder, Zoya the Destroyer, and Debbie Egan, Liberty Bell. The reason these two are out of the cabinet is quite simply Ruth's too tall for the cabinet. Her hair kind of goes quite high up and she won't fit in the cabinet. Debbie will fit in the cabinet, but I thought, well, I'm not going to leave Ruth on her own and these two will look pretty cool either side of one another there. So for now anyway, they are just standing outside of this cabinet on top of this CD rack here and I think they look pretty cool there. Here is Charlotte Flair. There is Asuka. She's a pretty recent purchase. Here's another one of my very favourite pops. Kenny Omega. I was really happy to get him for a pretty good price from playing Collect. And the hair on him is just great. And I like the New Japan pops. So another one of my very favourites here. Kenny Omega. Brilliant pop that. Here is the American Nightmare Cody. And here are Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. Have a bit of a look at the middle cabinet in full. I've got a link to where to get these cabinets from in the description text box. They're on Amazon. The price is still what it was when I bought them. $39.99 plus another $9.99 delivery. They come from Germany. And... What I like about them is they're really solid. There's no flat pack or assembly. It's just plain, pretty much untreated wood. So you could be like me and put them up as they are and they look great. Or they're ready for varnishing or painting. So if you have a more artistic bent, then yeah, you could really sort of jazz these cabinets up. I think the only thing I'd like to do at some point is maybe get some of those little lights for these just so that when it's the evening time and it's lower light, I can switch some little cabinet lights on and it will illuminate them a bit better, but that's something that I need to get around to doing. But I really recommend these cabinets. They've got plexiglass windows, sturdy, nicely fitted to the wall. If you want something that's good quality, that's ideal size for displaying pops, as you can see, I tend to put six per level. You could possibly get seven if you just squashed them all up together, but I don't think that looks very good. You want a little bit of space between them, so I think six on each row is perfectly adequate. We move on to what is on top of my newest cabinet. This is the cabinet that has just got a few pops in it. Here is my 2018 Summer Convention Dorbs 4-pack of the Captain Crunch characters. Love that cost me, including postage, I think just under £20 from US eBay. So that was a pretty good deal. And moving on, we have the Noid. The Noid, as you can see, doesn't have a pop protector yet. I have ordered some new pop protectors. I do like my ad icons to be in pop protectors, but the Noid is having to manage without for now. Then we go on to Bob's Big Boy. I bought the sticker to this separate. This was the cheapest pop I'd ever got. Three pound and another one pound something in postage. Didn't come with a sticker, but there's a great seller on eBay in America. The postage is really fast because they're only sending a sticker. It's like quick and it doesn't weigh anything. And I picked the sticker up from American eBay and was able to put that on the box once I'd decided Big Boy was going back in his box. Here's a recent purchase. A Target exclusive, the Golden Crisp Sugar Bear. And it is Captain Crunch, add icons number 36. So I've got three different Captain Crunches, but they're all different 
vinyl figures. Like, I've got the pop, or one of the pops, I've got the vinyl, and I have got the daubs. Last few pops to look at. Here we have Notorious B.I.G. This is the version of him in his jersey. Here's a really good two-pack that I got. The National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I got this for a good price from Pop Culture in Australia. I did get some customs charges, but I think even with those, this ended up being quite a good price. As on the Funko app, I think they value it at more than what I paid for it. So it's Clark Griswold and Cousin Eddie from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Then we move on to Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. And last couple here are Phoebe Buffay from Friends and Monica Geller from Friends. And with my Pop in a Box subscription, I hope that I'll be getting some more of the Friends characters, this second wave that I would really like to complete over the next few months. And as you can see, I've got three levels left to fill and that looks like a lot and I suppose for some people it would be a lot of space but it didn't take me long to fill up these other two cabinets so yeah. Here is also a very quick look at my empty boxes. I don't throw any of the boxes out and they're just all kept up here on top of these units as I think they look nice displayed especially like this when you can see the clear images on the back of these two packs. And then as we go behind, I'm not gonna to spend too long looking at these, but I've got some on their sides. You can just see over the top there. Kinda of looks better from a distance, really. And obviously, it's more a case of trying to find the space for all the boxes, because I've not really got room to put them in a cupboard or a loft or anything. And there's some more boxes up here, look, I think these look nice as well, it's just nicely decorative really, just having them out like this, but up there where they're kind of out of the way, and they're not going to come to any harm. So there we are, all my empty boxes. Thank you for watching, thank you to all my subscribers, hope you enjoyed this little tour of my Funko collection, having so much fun been a member of the Funko Pop collecting community and been a small YouTuber trying to grow his channel with your help and your support. I'm having a great time and if we can support one another on our YouTube journey and our Funko collecting journey then that is a pretty cool thing in my book. If you would like discounts on Pops from Culture Freak and Pop in a Box please see the codes and links down in the description. If you would like 10% off pop protectors at PP Joe, there is also a referral link down in the description for that. And of course, as mentioned before, there is a non-affiliated link, so I won't make any money from it, but it's just for your information. The Amazon link to my cabinets that I use, that is also down there. Please check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, I'm on all of them, give me a follow. Thank you once again everybody for watching this video and I hope you join me the next time for another great Funko Pop video. Cheers everyone, see ya!